I'm Steve Menares, and this is my 1974 C10. I have an automotive shop where we work on pretty much anything. This is a hobby that I like to do. Whenever I get stuck in the garage, I take it to Famous Tire and the, like the tires, wheels, we uh, set up the backspacing, make sure that everything was going to turn right, all that fun stuff. The alignment machine, the exhaust bender, the, the, everything is, a, is from the shop. Always wanted one since high school. I had one in high school, sold it and regretted it. And it started all over again. I paid $3,000 and it didn't, it was the frame, the cab and the bed. And that was it. So it was in pieces. No, no, no drivetrain. I don't even think it came with wheels and tires. I think we towed it up on a trailer with nothing. It realistically only took me about six months in the garage of, of getting it done. The paint job took a year and a half. The paint got done uh, Beaumont. His name's Steve, also Steve. It just has a lot of body work, like the door jams, the firewall, inner fender wheels got raised six inches. It's got five inches of up travel where it sits. Everything got shaved, um, the rain gutters, all the molding. Um, everything in the bed and realistically that's it I didn't I didn't want no door uh, shaved door handles I wanted it to look clean and, and as factory as you can it only has a thousand miles on it and probably 200 of those is on the dyno <laughs> Um, other than that, we just drive it all over the place. Just scared someone's gonna scratch it, but we drive it. It just, it, it was it was at the dyno shop like four times and it's just, they couldn't get it. They just couldn't get it and couldn't get it. And finally, um, I had West Tech drive up to the house and actually we fine, fine tuned it at the house and it's finally good. So drivetrain, it's got an LS, some performance heads, uh, bigger cam, headers, exhaust, cool intake no wires anywhere my coils are all hidden my wires my ignition wires my yeah, everything's gone transmission is just a built 4l60e corvette servos all that fun stuff in it built clutches all that stuff it does have a 10 bolt narrow 10 bolt back there with the posi and a and four 411 gears in it Three ninety to the wheels. I just wanted a, a nice, clean kit that was going to ride nice, and I was spectacle. I didn't know what to expect, but I absolutely love it. The thing takes a corner. You can stiffen it up. You can soften it up, and it rides amazing. The rear's notched, I think, like seven inches, so it just sits under the frame, uh, under the bed, barely. But realistically, your kit, everything that I built for the back, was all just kind of sit in spots. Yes, I welded everything in but everything fit like perfect the dakota digital but it's the factory looking everything's factory looking they're all digital they're they're really good gauges the seat believe it or not the seat i got from snowed in customs all double stitched and done is super comfortable and they just ship it to your house and then uh the door panels and everything else i got from tmi tmi interiors and it's super nice and clean same thing you just bolt it up no waiting I just, I hate waiting after the paint. I just wanted it back now. <laughs> so I just bought everything and put it all in and it all fit really nice. Those side windows are the, uh, the one piece windows. I was going to do that for the front and rear window, but the molding on the inside isn't complete and it doesn't look right. So I didn't, but the side windows are super nice. No wing window, no noise. It's got 18 inch bud nicks. I just didn't want to go with the 20 look with a real small tire. So it's got 18 inch, it's got 245s and 305s in the rear. I just feel like it's the more modern Pro Street. You know, it's a little bigger than usual. It still has that look, so I like it. It's got a set of um, the Race Series Magnaflows. They're like that big, but it's got so many bends in it. I didn't go under the rear end. I went up and over the rear end. So I'm going to say each one probably has 10 bends of like almost 90s so i figured that was going to kill the sound so i put the loudest muffler on it i could 
So underneath, just like everything else, everything's got Allen stainless Allen heads with stainless washers through the whole thing. I don't care what bolt you look at, it's stainless. It was flipped around, everything was sandblasted, and it's got the hole underneath is rhino lined with the same color. So it's the same color underneath. Um, the frame is powder coated black. All, all your arms are powder coated gloss black with the rear end with all that stuff. So it, it kind of has that contrast, so it looks good. I hope you enjoyed my C10 as much as I enjoyed building it. Thanks for watching.